Attacking us for. We didn't do anything. <laughs> More will come. Yeah. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Sindri? Dwarf. We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using his own bare hands. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive they are. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change because he says the most terrible things about me, just because he's insecure about his own work, which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. To work we go. shouldn't let my brother lay his hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work.
Don't let the Draugr get you. Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Said nothing. Wait, this one you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt. Evil. Look, should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. The elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory.
Focus up! Atreus, here! Hang on to it. Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. Focus up, boy!
enemies ahead! Something over there.
Father, do you ever know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We threw them overboard. Oh. Well, good thing I didn't drink any seawater, right? Yes, it is. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is open. We covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Utuna de Ura!
Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there. Did something, I think. Here we go. Together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come back to the sandbowl. 